let's start the next of the three guys from Tokyo University again. The title is the Green Tau Seven Four Number Fields and and Beyond Introduction. Yeah, and as you can, you, you will see my topic is not um, it's certainly arithmetic, but not um, so much uh, topological. And I thank the organizers for nonetheless uh, including me as a member of this workshop. Uh, so this Green Tower for Number Fields part is joined with my colleagues. And the beyond part is work in progress with. Kopinda, Hiroya, Sumiyasaki, and Sugiyama. Let me remind you what green <coughs> and Tao proved about prime numbers. So they prove that the, the prime numbers arbitrary, arbitrary long arithmetic progression. Actually, this is the title of the paper. I, I, I have nothing. So like five, if you give me five, you, you, for example, can add six multiple times to obtain several prime numbers. But it's distinct to, to fail at, at, at some finite steps. So, so if you begin with five, that this would be the longest one. And if you start with seven, and for example, you can add 30. You, you get a slightly longer one. Mm. But this fails to be a prime number because it's mm, divided by 11. But all those are examples. And around the same time, Tao proved an, an analog for the Gaussian integers. So published earlier, but written later. S is uh, is your favorite finite set. And then there is a non-zero integer and uh, the point in your ring such that If you if you multiply the, the integer to the set and translate it, then all the points will be prime elements. Mm 
in that ring. That's what Tao approved. Uh, and then the, this type of subset is called uh, an S constellation. Because it has shape S and located somewhere. And Tao, Tao in the same paper predicted that he, his method is likely to extend to other number fields, at least if And UFD, and it has finitely many units. And the field is a Galois extension of the rationals. And that, that's the problem we wanted to address. We, we addressed in the first part of my joint work. So, mm. any questions so far? There are not many. <laughs> you want finite units? Yeah, exactly. Maybe imaginary quadratic. Yeah. So yes, exactly. So 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 this 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 implies that your field is either rationals or uh, an imaginary quadratic field, uh, and actually it's known that if it's it has class number one. Mm, then, so there are, there are nine, only nine those imaginary things. So yeah, it turns out that there are only eight cases there. Why do you need the Galois condition then? It's just yeah, Tao actually used this uh, complex conjugate in where, during the proof. So he, yeah, that, that's why he, how Tao need uh, guessed that uh, the color one is, might be relevant. I think the question is those eight cases are the yeah. Alua by yeah. Sorry, quadratic. observation. Yeah, so that, that, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I copied, I copied what he wrote. <laughs> yeah, maybe. hadn't been ruled out that even if some some of them are, are, are irrelevant but some of them remain relevant uh, does he mean or what does he mean or? first anything. or second or third <laughs> <laughs> what do, you do all all conditions need to be met or just no uh, all, all of them that that what that what he wrote crazy right he wrote <laughs> Actually, he, he wrote that this, this should be finite color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What we proved is that uh, Yeah, so, so actually, so there's nothing to worry about. And the same, the same means what you. Oh, yeah, so, so I, we, we replace two, yeah. two appearances of the I by, by, by o -O -J. That's all. I mean, it holds in complete generality. Yes, yes, yes. 
X is still in Z or? S, sorry? X. X, yeah, X can be taken to be a non-zero integer. Well, but integer in, in, Z, in Q or in, in the field number field? Before? They use Z, Z, Z. Why is it okay? Why is it in okay? Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, this, this notion of constellation uh, can be, can be a, uh, uh, for formula formulated for any finite set inside my any set inside that an abelian group so then then it would be the, the scalar that's the pairing of scalars and is the abelian group so i i believe this is the, the right way to formulate it so much time so and then let me mention orally that there is a, also a, an analog for a fine curve of a finite fields like by myself. Yeah, and then and, and the proof that the proof, uh, that, yeah, that in the proof we have, we, we, we use uh, the theory of ideals. So, so, <laughs> That's the punchline. I mean, so the, the, what 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 missing from his view might have been that there is a reasonable theory of ideals, uh, and and we we interpret everything in terms of, I mean, the statement is still about elements, so we have to distinguish the role of elements and ideals, and yeah, after doing doing that, yeah, every step, basically the proof can be. Yeah. Made valid. So that's that green tower part. So, for your Leotelean Swinatun Daya. Uh, so the following thing. So they so first assume uh assume Schintel hypothesis. I I I I don't have enough time to to state it, but this is a twin twin prime like conjecture. So and so x over the time as well, number here. So this is a geometrical integral and most variety with a morphism into P1. Generic pi bar is a very broad variety. <laughs> Yeah, and then they show that that the Hasse principle for t rational points um, holds for these varieties. So, and this is an interesting theorem, but there, there's no hope. 
that since that hypothesis uh, could be proven in, 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 in any near future, according to me. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, so, relatively recently, so these three people removed the hypothesis of Shinzo. I mean, over over the rational, over the rational. So when when you are working on over rationals. But by adding some minor conditions on um, finitely many bad fibers of this morphism, um, by by using green tau type result, So it's the theorem of Green, Tau, and Ziegler. It says if you are given a finitely many affine linear maps, affine linear means uh, you can have co constant terms. And we assume that their linear parts, linear parts, are fairly pairwise, uh, linearly independent. And if assume further that I mean that they give a sufficient condition for these finitely many things to to attain simultaneous prime values for conditioning. So for a for any prime p. And there should be some point that's that for uh, all index the value is, is not non, non, non zero in D mod P. Then, uh, then, then they attain. values and this is uh, strictly stronger than green tau because uh, you, you by, by choosing your affine linear i mean linear maps uh, appropriately you recover a, a, an arithmetic progression so that, that's why i got interested in uh, exploring the possibility of Sending uh, that, that theorem to number fields. So this is the picture so far. So over Q, you have green tau theorem. And a strictly stronger theorem called the green tau Ziegler.
And by using it, you can prove a Hasse principle for vibrations fibered in very broad varieties. And for number of things so far, Uh, so, but here, here we, we are still missing. And since it time is up, let me mention that uh, this implication, this implication, uh, we, we have kind of checked that this would work. during the pandemic. I mean, this is still the pandemic. But... I mean, a, a sufficiently flexible variant of uh, an, an analogous theorem for, for number fields would imply the same thing for, for I mean, this, this was over P1 over the rational. Yeah, and then <laughs> to conclude that, let me mention that. So this, this has also already um, kind of done. Hopefully we can we can post something on archive within this year. I mean we, we have everything needed, but it, it's taking time to pierce the scattered nodes and we make every and yeah, so that's all. Thank you.